I bet you thought that a sticky bun that is sweet, gooey, soft, great tasting could not be healthy, but they can. I'm going to show you how. These are every bit as healthy as they are delicious. So we're going to start with the dough. I am using white wheat flour, coconut sugar, coconut milk, and a packet of yeast. I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of coconut sugar in a bowl with some yeast and give it a, a mix. And um, for this recipe, you, the whole wheat flour probably won't work as well as um, like what I'm using, which is white wheat flour, which is also a whole grain. I added in two cups of very warm coconut milk, which is equivalent to one can, and I'm giving that a stir. I'm gonna add two and cups of flour and day. listen to this beautiful musical rendition. And I love, I love my yabby all the day. I love the little 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 Abby really brought it home there. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside for 30 minutes and let it rise. And after 30 minutes, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of salt, or half a tablespoon actually. And I'm gonna add about this much almond meal. I would say that's about a half a cup and it's gonna give it a nice nutty flavor. I'm gonna add some cinnamon and some nutmeg. So I'm gonna get all of that incorporated. And do you see how the sponge has all of those air pockets? I love seeing that because that's exactly what a sponge should look like. I'm gonna get this um, turned out onto my parchment paper and I'm gonna add just enough of the flour, a little at a time until it, it's just a bit sticky. And then I'm gonna knead the dough for five to eight minutes oil my bowl with coconut oil and let that rise for an hour and a half. I'm gonna get some walnuts, some dates, pumpkin puree, and some cashew cream cheese. And these things are gonna um, be my filling. This cashew cream cheese is um, dairy free and it's just got four ingredients. Uh, the main ingredients are cashews, water, and salt, and uh, some citric acid. Very good. And we're gonna use that along with these dates for the filling. So what I'm gonna do is take some dates here and put them in my blender cup. And it's kind of feeling to make sure none of the pit is left in the dates. These are pitted dates, but sometimes there's a little like fragments of pieces. So I usually kind of squeeze it and these all look good. So I'm gonna put about that many dates in there with just a little bit of water about that much. And then I'm gonna blend that. I help her Avi. And this is what it looks like. So that's our date filling. And now I'm gonna take um, my cashew cream cheese and get that into this measuring cup here. Give it a taste. It's very good. You'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between this and any other cream cheese. I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of vanilla and then I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for about 15 seconds just so that I can stir it and it's softened up. I'm gonna add about um, a cup of water in a pan with a quarter cup of coconut sugar and some walnuts. And this is gonna be the topping for the sticky buns. I'm just gonna let this cook over medium heat for five minutes. Smells amazing. My dough is ready and I just love the feel of dough after it's risen. It's so soft and pillowy and see how it leaves like a nice indentation. That's a sign of a good dough. Got my pan that I'm gonna use here lined with parchment paper and I'm just gonna dump my sugar mixture with the walnuts into the pan and spread that around evenly. And now 
I am going to roll out my dough. And these are all the toppings, or fillings rather, that we're gonna put in this dough here. So, I'm gonna roll it out into a rectangle-ish shape. And first I'm gonna add the cream cheese vanilla mixture and spread that all around the dough. All right, so next I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add pumpkin puree, but first I'm gonna add some nutmeg on top of this mixture. Just sprinkle that around. And I'm also gonna add some cinnamon. And same thing, just gonna sprinkle my cinnamon around a bit. These sticky buns really bring back childhood memories because growing up, my mom used to make homemade cinnamon rolls and her version was nothing like this, but it still brings back all of those warm childhood memories. Now I'm gonna add my pumpkin puree and this is just straight pumpkin puree. There's nothing at all added in here. And um, this is actually the last of the pumpkin puree from a can that I opened uh, last week and froze. So I used the entire can without wasting any of it. I'm pretty happy about that. So just get that all spread around. And all of the sweetness from our filling is gonna come from our dates, the date mixture um, right here. So there's no sugar in the cream cheese, cashew cream cheese, there's no sugar in the pumpkin puree, this is what's gonna give us the, the sweetness in the filling. And because of that, I wanna get this spread out as evenly as I can. So going back to my mom's cinnamon rolls, her cinnamon rolls used a ton of butter. They used a lot of cinnamon sugar and she topped them with this sweet confectioner's glaze and they were just so gooey and warm and soft and I tried to recreate um, a healthy version that still had all of those qualities the softness the gooeyness and I think I pulled it off um, does absolutely have that same warm comforting feeling that a homemade cinnamon roll should have so I'm gonna get my dough all rolled up now and then I'm just going to make some slices and put them in my prepared pan look at that that looks so good to me and there we go I have some extra that I'm just gonna do plain but you could definitely double the sugar topping and do two pans that way but I've got some plain um, so they're not as sweet but Cover these, let them rise for 30 minutes. There we go, you can see that they are all puffed up after 30 minutes and now I'm gonna bake them at 350 for 20 to 22 minutes and look at that. Gonna turn them over onto a plate and I had a little mishap, they didn't come out perfectly but who cares because they're still so, so good. So if yours break apart when you flip them out like mine did, it doesn't matter because you're gonna break it apart to eat it. <laughs> The taste is what matters. In your snatch, we use pleasure. Boom, she pleasure. We have caramelized gooeyness, swirls of cashew cream cheese and pumpkin, but we also have protein, fiber, and nutrition all wrapped up into one sticky bun.